urge you, uh, I myself have been to two meetings on Washington Park. A lot of the citizens called me one day on a Sunday to come down and show me some things in Washington Park. I went down, took notes, talked to everybody who was there, and passed them on to the town manager. So you, I listened to your concerns, passed them to the rest of the council and the town manager. I went to a citizen advisory committee the other day, and I think it was Thursday, and listened to Ms. Cooper, Ms. Smith, Listen to your concerns. You showed me a lot of things I didn't even know, especially on the inside. We will take your concerns to heart, and I will do the best I can, and the rest of the council will see what we can get done. Thank you. Thank you. And Mr. I would like to thank you for your dedication. Because one of my sons had told me you did come there mm -hmm. and speak with them, and you had a true interest. I do thank you for that. Yes. Yeah. And I hope that spreads across to everyone that's involved. Um, again, I, uh, Mary Ann, we honored, you know, honored Tom Dean. I appreciate that. I'd like to thank you people for coming out. Uh, Jeff and I have talked about Washington Park. I'm going to go down and see it. I don't, I don't go to any of the parks around here at all. I'm too busy doing what I do. But I do coach kids and work with kids at the high school and the middle school. I'm interested in kids being treated fairly by everybody. I will do my best to make sure that, I'm not going to promise anything, I'm going to do my best to make sure that Washington Park gets what it deserves. The people at Clifton Forge get what they deserve. I have a question. I want to ask, has any of the other council members other than Jeff been down to the park, even the uh, town manager, have you been there? Yes, I've been there a number of times. Have you been in the bathrooms? Yes, yes I have. Oh, and it was okay? No. Okay. <laughs> it's never been okay. Just because you have water plumbing running through there doesn't make it okay. I would like to thank all of you for coming tonight. I think you brought some very, very good problems to us that we need to be looking at. And as Mr. Irvin said and Mr. Armstead said, we are going to and I take it very seriously. I, I like Mr. Armstead, do not go to any of the parks. That includes London Park. I just, that's not what I do. I have been to Washington Park uh, one, one or two times, I believe. But what I would say to you is I would encourage each and every one of you to please go to the Parks and Trails Committee meetings the second Monday of every month in this room at 6 p.m. That is the best place to get your concerns out. We have a duty and a responsibility to have good parks for all of our citizens in this town, and that is our goal. And as Ms. Bertram said, Washington Park is on the forefront now. So I'm hoping that in a few months, things are gonna start looking better. But I do appreciate you coming. And with respect to, um, Ms. Lee talking about the uncovered trash. I know I don't know Girard Avenue, but I know what it's like to have open trash on an alley. And it is disgusting, and I had to fight that battle myself in the alley behind my house. It brings rats, it brings bears, and everything else. And I'm assuming that that is going to be addressed immediately. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. Thank you. Um, I also want to comment on the resolution for. Um, you know, can y'all hear me? Yes. No. No. I think the whole thing's off, right? The whole system's off. All right, Jerry. You're just gonna have to read my lips. <laughs> um, I want to. Again, acknowledge Tom Dean because he was such a part of this community. I also want to thank you all for coming tonight and talking about Washington Park. I have been there several times. Part of that was on the Port of Kirby Field. One time we were volunteering and we went and cleaned up the park. Um, I went on Labor Day one time on the trail, Hazel Hollow Trail, Hazel, Hazel Run. And I uh, commented to Mrs. Bertram after that weekend that the restrooms were not in good condition. 
the stands for the dog the bags that they have, they were empty. Um, it, it is in sad shape, but you're doing what you need to do. You need, you're coming here and you're telling us about it. You went to the, the Citizen Advisory Committee. Their responsibility is, come to, is to come to us and tell us what's going on in your mind. <laughs> so you've taken a good first step. The second good step would, to be, would be to go to the parks and trails. I, I, I can see skepticism on your faces, but you've taken a good first step by letting us know how you feel. Now it's our turn. So thank you.